Last week, our heroes were rescued from the perils of nature and stock footage only to end up at the same indigenous village as the Nazi spies. After retrieving the Paratron death ray from the Nazis, Jim Hudson and his team are double-crossed on the flight home. The pilot is shot, sending the plane careening out of control. Last time, Jim Hudson's father discovered a volatile mineral in his mind that turned out to be the key to Dr. Miller's Paratron ray. While trying to transport a shipment of the mineral, Jim Hudson's truck is hijacked by brigands. The steering goes out, and before Jim and the bosun can decide to jump, the bosun gets shot, and the truck crashes. Last time, the bosun failed to tell Jim about his feelings for him, and then Ruth was kidnapped by brigands. After escaping her kidnappers and stock footage of a bear, Ruth rushes to warn Jim about a booby-trapped bridge, but just misses him. The bridge collapses beneath Jim's truck as Ruth and the bosun rush to see if their love triangle will ever be resolved. Previously, Jim Hudson escaped death through a cheap edit and returned to his father's mind. Meanwhile, his father and Dr. Miller tried to rekindle old romantic feelings while Brandon and Dr. House wondered if they had any romance left to save. Jim and the bosun left for a personal getaway, but the cable on their elevator snapped, sending them hurtling to their doom. Last time, Grit joined Jim, Ruth, and the bosun's polycule, and the four went to vacation in the country. On their way home, Brandon, jealous of their romantic success, drives them off the road. Last time, Jim and the bosun were saved from being run off the road by an extended cutaway not featured in the previous episode. While the crew goes to rescue them, the brigands steal the Paratron Ray. Brandon and Dr. House set out for an intimate night of stargazing only to learn that Jim and Ruth are spying on them from above. The couple use the stolen ray to shoot down Jim and Ruth's plane, causing it to crash on the other side of the mountain. In the last episode, Jim and Ruth escape their crashing plane by parachuting to safety. Jim finds the brigand's hideout and finds Dr. House engaging in some light bondage. He has to join Jim and the bosun, leading Jim to retreat to a natural idol to consider his romantic situation. Brandon, in a fit of jealousy, shoots him, sending Jim tumbling into the rapids below. Last time, Jim washed ashore after being shot, and Ruth kept him occupied overnight. Meanwhile, Jim's father and Dr. Miller welcomed Dr. House back in the warmest of fashions. Brandon, deciding broken hearts are best mended by moving on, rigs the cabin he shared with Dr. House to explode. Jim trips the detonator, reducing the cabin to splinters. Jim's life is spared from the explosion by an alternate take. All of his near-death experiences lead him to be an adrenaline junkie, and he starts robbing passers-by. Dr. House meets one of Jim's victims and feels an immediate spark. Then a staged radio message sends the group to an abandoned mine shaft, which Brandon collapses after their descent. After escaping the landslide by not being caught in it, Jim and his father discover the hijacker's lair and retrieve the Paratron Ray. Brock, the mastermind who hasn't had an appearance in any of these recaps so far, orders House to use the ray on our heroes while they're all down in the mine.